The officials may still be quiet about the Jimny Sierra pickup, but it all indicates that the Japanese manufacturer is finally about to bring this highly anticipated pickup to production. The Jimny, the direct successor of Samurai, may not be available in North America, but around the world it's a legend. Known for its tiny dimensions and boxy charm, the three-door SUV is also one of the most capable off-roaders around, so it doesn't surprise that there's been so much talk about the pickup iteration. And now, when the five-door version has finally been launched, we can finally say that there are no excuses for the lack of the pickup body style, because we're pretty sure that Suzuki's management knows very well how badly we want to see it. After all, these kinds of conversations became a common thing long ago. England, Austria, and many other parts of the world. Specialized companies have been converting this SUV for a long time. And they've not only been doing that with pre-owned models, they've started doing it on brand new models as well. Back in 2018, at the Tokyo Auto Salon, we finally saw a Jimny pickup with the Sierra moniker. And it was one of the cutest things we've ever seen. Heavily based on the three-door SUV, the Jimny Sierra removed back seats and made room for a tiny cargo bed. It didn't seem particularly practical, but it looked amazing, not only because of the well-known boxy lines. No, we saw a new design approach with a full load of retro details, starting from long-forgotten wood panels on the side complemented with white wheels and chrome covers, as well as a massive bed bar with LED lighting groups at the top. It's needless to say that both the masses and experts were amazed by this design, which only made everyone want to see a Jimny pickup in production. As mentioned, the officials are still keeping everything under the veil of secrecy, but positive vibes are coming from so many sources that make us believe that something is really happening. After all, the internet is full of rendered images previewing the Jimny Sierra pickup. Various sources suggest that the new pickup might come sooner than we think, so while we're desperately waiting for the officials to come up and say something on this matter, let's speculate a bit. Let's check what the possibilities are and what Suzuki can actually achieve with such a pickup. The all-new Suzuki Sierra pickup. What to expect? So what to expect, or better to say, what to hope for when it comes to Suzuki's highly anticipated pickup? Well, when we talk about the overall design, some things seem pretty clear and easy to predict, starting from the styling. Of course, there's no doubt that Suzuki would closely stick with the aesthetics of the base Jimny, because along with excellent off-road performance, that's easily the strongest selling point. The front end is expected to remain intact, while the rest of the truck leads us to the actual size, because even tiny, the new truck should offer a cargo bed that offers at least a bit of practicality. So when it comes to exterior design, we're pretty sure that that old-school approach, which includes a combination of upright A-pillars, a flat clamshell bonnet slash hood, a classic black grille and round headlights, as well as massive wheel arches, is about to carry over. The front bumper would also remain similarly designed, which means quite a respectable 37 degrees of the approach angle at least. On the other hand, the rear overhang would probably have to be longer due to the cargo bed design, so the departure angle will be lower as well. For reference, the SUV is good for an impressive 49 degrees. Additionally, as a heavy off-roader, the Suzuki Jimny Sierra is expected to come with bigger tires and maybe even higher ground clearance. The good thing is that Suzuki has introduced a five-door version of the SUV, finally. The wheelbase has been stretched significantly by 13.4 inches, or 340 millimeters if you prefer. So, the wheelbase is now 102 inches or 2,590 millimeters long, while the overall length of this five-door version goes up to nearly 4 meters. More precisely, it's around 3,985 millimeters or 157 inches. Such a wheelbase leaves more options when it comes to capability and flexibility. That seems enough to offer a decently sized cargo bed, especially if the Japanese manufacturer decides to go with just a single row of seats. We know that generally that's not particularly popular these days, but if we consider that the Jimny SUV is already available in a commercial version without rear seats, there's no reason for a single cab pickup not to make it. After all, with a pickup body style, the Jimny would have another variant that's classified as a commercial vehicle, which helps a lot these days in reaching more demanding markets, those characterized by pretty strict emission standards. 
Some sources even speculate about the possibility of seeing both single and double cab variants on offer. We presume that the latter would offer the same seating configuration and the same passenger room as the five-door SUV, which is surprisingly generous actually. As for the interior design, we don't believe there would be any deviations from the SUV. The Jimny already features a pretty appealing cabin design, even though it's essentially pretty utilitarian. There's a mix of hard plastics and other durable materials, but the aesthetics seem pretty attractive. Of course, there's always room for improvements, and some of them might come in the form of new tech features, such as the new infotainment screen, for example. What we know for sure After a few words about what we expect and what we hope for, let's say a few words about a few things we know for sure, about things we have no doubt are going to happen in the case that the new pickup enters production, and if we can trust various sources, that may happen pretty soon, sooner than we think. So the first thing to talk about is the base layout. In this aspect, things will be no different compared to the SUV. The pickup truck will, of course, also feature body-on-frame construction, which will ensure much-needed rigidity. Along with the body-on-frame design, the suspension setup would also be the same, which would mean a three-link solid axle with coil springs, though we won't exclude the possibility of even seeing leaf springs on the rear end for improved towing and payload capacity. For reference, the Jimny SUV can tow up to around 2,700 pounds. Don't you think that would be enough for a pickup iteration? Let us know in the comments. And of course, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell button. It means a lot to us. Now let's be honest. Although a pickup, the all-new Suzuki Jimny won't be a utility vehicle. No, off-road performance will remain in the focus. And the good thing to know is that the SUV comes with the well-known All-Grip Pro four-wheel drive system, which features some pretty interesting technical solutions. Namely, every Jimny we've seen so far, and there have been four generations of it, featured the same selectable part-time four-wheel drive. In the default mode, it's a rear-wheel drive, while you can manually engage four-wheel drive when the torque is equally distributed to all wheels. Now the interesting part comes. This system has no center or interaxle differential. In practice, this means a pretty good grip even if two wheels from different axles lose traction. On the other hand, the negative side of this system, and also the reason why rear-wheel drive is the standard mode, is that when four-wheel drive is engaged, surfaces that are not loose enough can damage the axles and suspension. So four-wheel drive is recommended only on surfaces like ice, mud, wet grass, sand, gravel, etc. Finally, the company could add a mechanically locking rear differential, a feature that Suzuki has been installing in certain versions of the Jimny SUV. Sticking with familiar design characteristics also means that we may expect the implementation of Jimny's familiar safety systems, such as the so-called dual sensor brake support, for example. That system is essentially a forward collision warning with audio and visual warning, but it also applies brakes to minimize collision. Then there are other modern driver assistance features, such as lane departure warning, weaving alert function, and automatic high beams. Engines and transmission as a primarily off-road vehicle, the Jimny SUV sticks with proven old-school technical solutions. In terms of powertrain, that means the good old K engine, with a base design that dates back to the 1990s. In this particular case, we're talking about a 1.5-liter four-cylinder unit that puts out around 102 horsepower and 138 newton meters of torque. It's a naturally aspirated, old-school engine famous for its simplicity, reliability, and durability. But the ancient design also turned out to be a big problem in the last few years because the engine struggles to meet the latest emission standards in more demanding markets, such as Europe. Thankfully, with the pickup body style, the Jimny Sierra will be classified as a commercial vehicle. But that, let's call it loophole state, won't last forever. At some point, Suzuki will have to figure out something greener. Of course, the first thing that comes to mind is the hybrid, the electrified version of this K-series engine. Furthermore, some sources even speculate about the all-electric version, but we're pretty sure we're years if not decades away from that. Meanwhile, the familiar setup is likely to remain untouched. So besides the same engine, the Jimny Sierra will also feature the same transmissions as its SUV sibling. This means two options, both a little bit outdated by modern-day standards. 
One is a 5-speed manual, while the other one is an ancient 4-speed automatic. But despite the lack of gears, these transmissions work perfectly in combination with the aforementioned 4-wheel drive system and together make a perfect combo for off-road adventures. Release Date As for the launch date, we already mentioned that the officials are still quiet about the new pickup. On the other hand, unofficial sources suggest that the all-new Suzuki Jimny Sierra might come sooner than we think. They suggest we could see it already by the end of this year as a 2025 model. Does this sound realistic? We can't say due to the obvious lack of proven information. What are your thoughts on this? Do you think the new pickup could arrive that soon? Let us know in the comments and don't forget to subscribe because more previews like this are coming. Thanks for watching and see you next time.